Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to take a look at the new Sonera home cinema headset. This is a HMD, uh, just got released fairly recently, I think in April 2018. And um, I haven't seen many reviews online about this headset. <clears throat> uh, the, the last HMD that I uh, reviewed was the Royal Moon, which was last year. And uh, this is, I think it has similar specs, but um, it's higher resolution. So it has dual 2.5K Ultra HD. And the Royal Moon was like 1080, 1080p each eye with OLED. I don't think this one's OLED. I think this one's just regular LCD. Uh, but has the rest as Android OS, uh, whereas the Royal Moon had its own OS. And of course, HDMI input, which is really important because you want to use it with all your regular devices and stuff. And cost about 800 bucks, which is exactly what the Royal Moon when it came out. Right now, the Royal Moon is cheaper. Uh, it's 500 bucks right now, so this one's more expensive, and it doesn't have headphones, I believe. So I'm really going to expect high video quality from this, because if I'm going to pay 300 bucks more, and I'm not getting headphones, I should, I'm going to expect much better video quality out of it. So um, this is what came in the box. Uh, I get the USB, this is a micro USB, I think. A little disappointing because no USB-C. You'd think that everything would be using USB-C these days. Uh, and this thing, which is some kind of comforter or something, it looks like something you just put around the headset to make it more comfortable. And then a box which came with the assembly arm. So this is something that's unique about the Sonera, is that it comes with this assembly arm here so you can attach it to a table. You can clamp it to a table so that you don't have to actually hold this headset with your head. Um, and this is different than any other HMD because usually you strap it to your head and stuff, but this one you just put it on a table so that's more comfortable. So I have to assemble this and basically show you uh, just the pieces that came with this. this. Actually, why don't I just show you what's inside the box here. Okay, so I'll assemble this later and then set it up, but this is basically what came inside the box. I have to assemble it. All right, and this is the actual box for the headset right here. So I was also looking at the Groovis G2 because that's another headset that uh, came out recently. But um, from what I've seen in the reviews, this one seems to be an improvement over the Groovis, even though it's not OLED. Because the thing with OLED is even though you get good contrast ratio, it really depends on how you implement it. You know, there's still like various settings you can do with it. And I heard the Groovis doesn't have the best OLED, at least not as good as the Royal Moon does. So, yeah, expectations. If you implement a good LCD screen, then it should be good. All right. This is from China. Uh, a lot of these HMDs are from China. The uh, Groovis Sinago, the Royal Moon, those are from China. The Avian Glyph is from a Western country, I believe. I'm not sure if it's American or European, but that one seems to be more Westernized. But most of the HMDs you can find these days are actually Chinese, which is pretty interesting. All right, uh, so what we get, alcohol prep pad. I don't know what this is for. Hmm. Okay, and this box here contains our, <laughs> you know what this is, uh, travel universal adapter. This is one of the things you find on Amazon. If you want to go to another country, you plug in, uh, <laughs> you want to convert your plug into different adapters and stuff. So this is for like Europe, Asia, USA, Australia, UK. They all have different adapters. So <laughs> I think this is straight from Amazon because I remember seeing this thing on Amazon, so it comes with this travel adapter. And then, this is a regular adapter for USB-A. I guess you plug that into the chapter travel adapter, which you plug in a USB, a micro USB cable into, okay. I guess then that's what it is, and then the headset itself, which is actually not that heavy. It's um, good weight, it's not, it's not as heavy as I expected. I thought that if it uh, was mounted on a tripod or like an arm or something, it would be really heavy, but it's it's not. 
it weighs um, maybe feels like it's a little bit maybe like one pound or less less than a pound for sure yeah okay yeah feels like about like one one pound around there all right and this is using manual I think this was backed on uh, Kickstarter or Indiegogo like a lot of these headsets are uh, okay, so 66 degrees field of view is one of the highest I've seen on HMD. Uh, 2.5K displays, one of the biggest reasons I got this is because it's really, really high res. 2560 by 1440 per eye, that's probably the highest res you can get on uh, HMD right now. So like the Sony HMZ headset that I had before was the 720p per eye, and the Royal Moon is 1080p per eye, and this one's 1440. So it's definitely high expectations for the high resolution, should be no screen door effect. Uh, super high resolutions, yeah, 8 times iPhone 7 plus, 360 degrees adjustable frame comes with it. Uh, Sonera also sells some other accessories like um, they have FPB, FPB head mount, so you do have a strap, strappable uh, accessory if you do want to strap it to your head, and then it has a battery to it. I guess this doesn't have a built-in battery, you have to use it with the uh, mains power right now, so you had to buy the FPB to actually use it uh, portably. And they also have um, a remote control, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Glass free 3D technology. I think there should be an update to support Blu ray 3D, right? Not just side by side 3D, frame packed and Blu ray 3D as well. I believe that it's a firmware update. Um, yeah. Okay. 2D, 3D toggle, IPD sliders, okay, that's normal, HDMI button, and okay, this is what you get. Micro SD card slot is pretty useful. I don't think that's something I've seen on my other headsets. Extended storage. USB port, also really useful. Connecting your portable devices. HDMI, micro USB, again, I wish this would be USB-C. Uh, FPV head mount, it does not come with the package, you have to buy that separately like 130 bucks I think um, yeah okay let's go over there. look at this on the headset itself and okay this is the just the assembly instructions I think the attachment instructions okay I'll try that out later this is the specs uh, it's a quad core Cortex A17 um, dual 1440p 2 gigs of memory 16 gigs of storage got all the Wi-Fi Bluetooth 4 HDMI 1.4, which this is HDMI 2. Uh, if you get the FPV mount, it's four hours battery life. And Android 6, it's a little bit old. We're now on Android 9. My essential phone and Pixel 2 have always already been upgraded to Android 9. So okay. Um, all right. That's uh, okay. All the rest of the stuff. I like this user manual, it's nicely translated. I like how it says version 1.0 of the user manual. It's like, this is like, <laughs> you know, version one of the user manual, okay, so are they gonna update the user manual? How are they gonna do that? <laughs> I guess this is just printed out from a PDF or something. That makes sense. This is nicely translated. Uh, a lot of these Chinese headsets, they come and then they're badly translated, so some things don't make sense, but this one is really, it's nicely translated, it looks like. It looks like this is still in Chinese though. Product warranty card. Yeah, there's the English version. All right, let's look at the headset now. So we get a um, tripod mount on the top and the bottom, which I'm a little bit surprised by because I would think that it's always on the bottom, but you get both places. Okay, looks a bit weird, but it's fine. And then uh, you get, so I don't know really know what is the top or the bottom of this device because of that. I guess this would be the bottom. This is the top. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. So both have tripod mounts. Uh, okay, so you got the micro USB charger, USB A for plugging your flash drives, uh, micro SD for putting your external storage, HDMI output. Nothing on the sides. Um, you get plus minus volume. I assume this is for brightness, I believe, uh, and this is for back button. Oh, here's the power. So they've got two. Maybe this one's connecting to a computer for firmware updates. This one is for power. Another micro USB and this is for navigation up, down, left, right. Okay. This is the headset itself. 
side and a uh, power button on off your uh, adjusters for your eye distance your 3.5 millimeter auto jack because this doesn't come with headphones you have to use either Bluetooth headphones or external headphones I'm probably going to use Bluetooth headphones and um, 2d 3d selector HDMI oh I guess this is the this is the upway I guess okay the controls tell me that this is the upway <laughs> That's a little bit strange to me because like you have like a USB stick sticking out from this when you're wearing this. I think that sticking out on the bottom would look better, but okay. I guess this is the upright distance. All right, um, yeah, all right. I'm gonna try it out for a bit and uh, tell you guys what I think. Okay, so yeah, uh, I've set up my scenario headset right here. Um, this is the mount and I think it's pretty flexible. You can go up and down. You can swivel it and you can adjust the position of the headset however you want. So I think this is a fairly comfortable solution and compared to the other HMDs out there uh, where you have it strapped to your head, I think this one is, is more for using at home. It's not as portable but you don't have to support it with your head so I think it can be more comfortable for longer uh, sessions whether you're gaming or watching movies. and. Um, yeah, for about my experiences with this headset, um, I think the picture quality is really, really good. This is a, a 2K display uh, on each eye. So compared to the other displays I've done, the Sony was 720p per eye and the, uh, the Royal Moon was 1080p per eye. This is 2K, this is 1440p per eye. And uh, I think that the quality of the display, like the sharpness, even though it's not OLED, is probably the best I've ever experience on HMD so that's that's very very impressive so far um, one thing I did notice is that when I'm playing games like I have this hooked up to my PlayStation TV right now uh, it's not really the best for playing games because there's a lot of when you're moving things really fast there's some motion blur going on I'm not sure what uh, refresh rate this uh, virtual display is but it seems to be like 24 Hertz or something like that which means it's more suitable for watching movies not really for playing games you need uh, at least 60 Hertz for playing games um, perfectly higher, but yeah, I think this HMD is not the best for playing games. I tried it out um, It's better for watching movies and the OS inside of here is a modified version of Android Which means uh, it's it's kind of similar to the Royal Moon um, There's basically just a you know, you have some buttons layout you can watch Netflix you have Kodi you have VLC you have YouTube so uh, And you can connect to HDMI, you know, um, and there's a SD card slot which I'm playing games with right now so I think that's uh, the OS is, is fairly basic um, I recommend connecting it to a wireless keyboard because uh, if you're gonna be using YouTube or something like that um, the navigational buttons right here isn't the best for typing characters so I recommend just connecting a wireless keyboard and then you can just type characters on that um, I'm also using a Bluetooth headset for the sound uh, but one thing I noticed was that when you're using HDMI the HDMI does not pass through to the Bluetooth so when I'm uh, using this HDMI, the sound doesn't come through the Bluetooth. It only comes through when you're playing a native app like the YouTube or the Kodi or Netflix on this uh, device. Then it works fine with the Bluetooth, but once you have this HDMI connected, you have to connect an auxiliary. You have to physically connect um, uh, an actual wired connection to be able to hear the sound. So the HDMI doesn't pass through to the Bluetooth. Um, so I think that's my only two problems that I've experienced with it so far. One thing is that I wish the HDMI would pass through the Bluetooth instead of just the aux. And another thing is I wish that they would increase the refresh rate because if you're uh, watching videos that move really fast or you're playing a game, then you can see a little bit of motion blur going on and there's a little bit of lag. Uh, those are the only thing I noticed. Uh, otherwise, the video quality is, is probably the best I've experienced on HMD. And um, yeah, I think this is, can be fairly comfortable solution. I recommend this for people who live in a small apartment and uh, can't, uh, don't have space or, you know, for a big flat screen TV or a big display or projector and um, you don't, I guess you live alone and you're single and you don't have anyone to share your experiences with. So I recommend this product for those kind of people. But um, yeah, fairly impressive. Um, it depends how much you value the, the quality. Uh, I think the Royal Moon is still a better buy because it comes with really good headphone speakers that are noise cancelling as well. You don't need to buy a separate headphone. And um, yeah, the quality on the Royal Moon is not as good as this, but it's 
It's almost. I would say it's it's almost as good as this one, and this one is definitely the sharpest. But I mean, 1080p versus 2K is going to be an, a noticeable uh, no increase, but it's not going to be as noticeable from 720p to 1080p because it gets uh, you get diminishing returns, you know. So uh, yeah, if you want the best quality um, picture quality, I think Sonera is good. Um, probably the best on the market right now, but it's not necessarily the best value. Uh, I still think the Royal Moon is a better value at 500 bucks. This thing, 800 bucks, you have to buy your own headphones and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, uh, it's just my experiences with the Sonera HMD, and that's it.